So in this one, I'm just going to quickly cover different methods of storing views in Blender. Okay, so they include adding some keyframes or an add-on called stored views. So let's get started. So to begin this, I'm going to right click and add a camera. So shift A, add a camera. And over here in the properties, I'm going to switch this to an orthographic. So if I press one, what I want to do is bring the camera into this view. So I'm going to press control alt zero, and I'm just going to click in the scale here and just drag this out. Or maybe just up this to 17, press enter. And I'm going to press G and just get a position for this and left click. I'm just going to put in height of four in the Z just to position that to a nice round number. Okay, so with the camera selected then, what I'm going to do is put in a keyframe for this position. So I'm going to press I and lock rock. So next, if I come up to frame 10, I'm going to press 3 for a side view. And again, I'm going to bring the camera into this view with Control alt 0 And for the Z, I'm just going to type in 4. And again, press I and lock rock. Now, for the orthographic scale at this position, I need to put a keyframe in here. So I'm going to press I just to maintain that 17. From here, I'm going to come up to 20 on the timeline. I'm going to press 7 for top view. And I'm going to press Control alt 0 to bring the camera into this view and press G and just frame this up a little bit. Now with that, I need to increase this orthographic scale. So I might just type in 22 and increase that. And I need to record this. So I'm going to press I and insert a keyframe here. I'm also going to come back in the 3D view and add a keyframe. So I'm going to press I and choose lock rock for a location rotation. So now if I scrub back along the timeline, I can shift between top side and front view. Okay, so that's the first method of adding and saving views in the viewport. The next one is an add-on. So I'm going to come up here to File, User Preferences. In the add-ons, there is an add-on called Stored Views. And I'm going to save user settings. And just X this down. So if I come down here on the property shelf, it's at the very end here called Stored Views. So what I'm going to do is just move this camera maybe to layer 14. And I'm going to initialize the Stored Views. So I'm going to press one for front view and just zoom out a little bit. I'm going to come over here then and just click new camera to view. This is going to add a new camera to the scene and make it active. So what I'm going to do is switch it to an orthographic. And again, I'm going to click in here and just type in 17. And if I come over here, I can click save current. I'm just going to name this to front view, press enter. And I'm going to press three for side view. And again, I'm going to click new camera to view. Again, it's going to add a new camera to the scene and it's going to make it active. So I'm going to come over here, click this to orthographic and increase the scale to 17. And I can press G to line this up and left click. Now what I might do is come up here and just type in four in the Z. And that way I can save current and click here and just rename this then to side view. So then I'm just going to press seven, click new camera to view. Again, switch it to an orthographic, and this time I'm going to increase the scale to 22 and just press G just to frame this up. So finally, I can just save current and rename that then to top view and press enter. So now I can switch between the different cameras by just clicking these icons here. So we have our front view, our side view and our top view. So if I come back to front view and I want to update the view a small bit, I can click this record. What I'm going to do is going to select the camera and put in a value of four here. So now if I come to side view, select the camera, I can see I have four meters in that one. Come back to the front view and it has updated to four. Okay, so there are just two different methods of adding different camera views to the scene. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one.